That's going to be a problem. That's better. Hello everyone, I'm JoltKing627, also known as Brick Conductor. Today we're going to be taking a look at this nerf mod, my shotgun axe. Bit of backstory to where the idea came from. This is kind of a replica of something from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's a shotgun axe. It's literally what it sounds like and looks like. It's a shotgun with an axe head on the front, which is, of course, awesome. Anyway, as soon as I saw that on the show, I knew I absolutely had to build one for nerf. And thus, here we are. The main functioning part of the blaster is, of course, the shotgun Kronos design first done by Captain Xavier, where you take the 12-round magazine and add it to the Kronos' internal magazine, so now it has a capacity of 17, and of course it has also been made pump-action. I also added a rough-cut foregrip down on the bottom there, which is much more comfortable than just a straight retaliator slide. Up at the front here... To help complete the look of the bottom tube, I have the plunger tube from just a random Busby blaster. And up here as the axe head, we have a bunch of foam cut to look like an axe head. And uh, I have duct taped it all up. And then we have bits of the uh, zombie strike chop stock that help hold it in place. Of course, mandatory orange duct tape for safety reasons. The only sad part is, of course, this nice paint job that I've done has gotten scratched and worn over time, and this part was just always like this. For whatever reason, the paint did not like that slide, no matter how much I sanded it down. I, I still, to this day, don't know why. It's the same can of paint as that I used on literally everything else. As far as internal modifications go, all I've done is remove the locks and slightly doubled up the spring to help account for all the extra barrel drag. I know, I know, it looks kind of janky in places because I've got the the E-tape on the magazine, and I've got hot glue holding the little plunger tube at the end on, and it's got duct tape, but, uh, hey, I still like it. Anyway, let's see it fire. Alright, let's shoot some official yellow rival balls. Let's double prime it for two. Not so great performance, but... Um, not too surprised about that, given the length of the barrel. We're out. And now I guess I show how to use the axe. Ha! Die! So, all in all, I'm really happy with how it turned out. This was one of the more fun projects I've done. And uh, I know that I certainly love using this, and I can't wait to be able to use it in a war sometime. Maybe I'll have to add a little bit of orange flagging around the whole thing, just to make sure uh, it doesn't get mistaken for a real firearm. If you have any comments or suggestions, please make sure to put them in the comment section down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you all for watching.